We had an alarm go off on our second floor. Piercing sound woke my wife and I up on the floor above us. There wasn't an emergency, but all three children were sound asleep. None of them even rose. That troubling first-hand account from Toronto Fire Captain Stephen Powell, and he and his family aren't alone. A study has found more than 50% of kids under the age of 12 don't wake up to your regular residential fire alarm, while more than 90% stir out of their slumber when a voice alarm is activated. It's not loud, it's a calm, controlled voice. Fire. And there are even ones where the parent can put in their own voice. Voice alarm technology isn't brand new, and one reason Captain Powell believes it hasn't caught on, the price. Now, your average smoke alarm at your local hardware store starts at $10, while a combo voice alarm system starts at 60 bucks and goes all the way up to $100. Can you put a price on your child's safety? No, there's none. Absolutely not. City News conducted a test on a family practicing their fire exit plan. The smoke began to rise and the alarm sounded for over a minute. We even tried to wake up this little guy. He's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit worrisome, eh, Mom? Yes, it is. Fire Captain Powell says though the voice alarms might seem quiet, it's enough to break their sleeping pattern while kids tune out that high-pitched beeping. But a voice-activated fire alarm could be the difference between life or death for your kids. It could certainly mean the difference of whether they wake up or not. And so, you know, I would recommend for everybody who has children to look into this voice activated alarms. Now a warning, there's no data suggesting that a voice activated fire alarm will actually help wake up an adult or an adolescent. The experts suggest you install a dual system, one that both rings the alarm and speaks to you. Fire. Adrian Gobriel, City News.